What do you want? Oh, you're awake. Is there anything that you wanted to say to me this morning, Misa? There's nothing that comes to your mind. Nothing that you want to say to me on June 21st? Important day in a lot of people's lives. Nothing comes to mind. No. No. Mm. Nothing okay. at all. Well, some people on this day celebrate my birthday. Are you trying to get me to say happy birthday to you, Dylan? <laughs> Come on. Like, I would fish for compliments like that. <laughs> happy Thank you. Thank you for wishing me a happy birthday. It is my birthday. Hi. <laughs>
Step out and stand on the moving platform, please. <laughs> How is this scary at all? Let's go to the next one. The next ride that we decided to go on was this roller coaster and just keeping it real, I have a fear of roller coasters. So I was a little bit nervous, but if this lady's laugh was any indication, this ride was gonna be fun. <laughs> oh my God, are you ready? <laughs> I was not, cause I ended up peeing myself. The ride starts out with this cave area with the waterfall. The issue I had with this ride was the man right in front of me, yellow shirt hair. Because every time I move the camera, his neck would be the center. I put the camera up high, somehow his neck would be in the center of the shot. I put the camera to the side, neck was the center of the shot. I couldn't get away from his neck. Eventually we went through a dark tunnel and I was so happy because I didn't have to look at his neck for like three seconds. Eventually I just gave in. You win, neck. I just decided to focus the camera on it. So there you go, freckle neck. <laughs> The ride also had this cool mine area, and it got pretty intense, so I started like zooming in and all the cool stuff. But I couldn't see very well, so I just zoomed in on a blank rock. Good job, Dylan. And then the ride exploded out of nowhere, which was wild. We went to a restaurant inside the park, and I made the best joke I've ever made in my entire life. Oh look, catch of the day, they have me. <laughs> After dinner, there was this swing dancing area. You ready to dance? You ready to show them? We should just bust the move. We should just take off. Move. We decided to check it out, but I got intimidated by these two, who were super good at dancing. There's no way I was gonna be able to compete with them. I was so intimidated I couldn't even get up. But then I saw this guy who was dancing like a drug addict would. I don't really know how to explain that, but that's just how I felt. That made me feel a little bit better, but not enough to actually try. I also revealed a well-known, but still shocking Disney Park secret. You know what I heard? What? I heard that after Disney closes at midnight, they do adult film shoots in here. Oh my god. That's what keeps the budget. We walk by this show on the water. Apparently it's like one of their closing events for the night. They closed the seating area off for this and we weren't allowed to stand on the walkway to watch because we'd be blocking traffic. So I tried to just walk back and forth capturing videos on my phone. Eventually we just snuck into the seating area and we caught the tail end of the story, which was apparently Maleficent trying to kill Mickey Mouse. But then Mickey Mouse defeats her with his sick dance moves or something. And then Mickey Mouse exploded, which was wild. They had these boats go by with Disney characters dancing on them. Beast was there. He exploded, it was wild. And then they just played famous Disney scenes during the fireworks. That's like the grand, grand finale is just the fireworks show at nights. It was actually really cool. The fireworks matched the music. It felt very magical, it was dope. And I had such a good closing shot for this vlog where I panned from the Lion King up to the fireworks and then up into the night sky. It was beautiful, magical. Just the perfect way to end the video. And then I ruined it by doing this. After the fireworks, I said goodbye to Disney. And then I exploded, which was wild. Oh, something else happened on my birthday. I don't mean to flex on everybody, but I got a birthday tweet from Famous Birthdays. Happy birthday to you. Have a special day, smiley face. And guess what? This tweet got six likes. Six likes. Just to compare how famous I was to say Leonardo DiCaprio, I checked to see how many likes that he got on his tweet from Famous Birthdays, wishing him a happy birthday. Guess what? They never even tweeted him. That just proves I'm way more famous than Leonardo DiCaprio. Famous Birthdays is the verified birthday source. And they didn't even wish him a happy birthday. And I got six likes. Sorry, Leo, there is a new famous sheriff in town. I also wanted to mention that I posted a picture on Instagram and you guys just gave it so much love and it just meant a lot to me. I feel like that with almost everything that I post, you guys just give me so much kindness and support. I also wanted to thank my friend Misoa for giving me the idea to make a video for my birthday. Her friendship means a lot to me and she's got a really good heart and I'm really grateful to have her in my life. One final note that I wanna make as well is that I started a subreddit called Yo Troublemakers. I want you guys to go there to post memes or funny cringy videos that I 
can make a late night Dylan video on. Just stuff like that. You can upvote what you like and I'll make a video based on what you guys upvote. I'm not really sure exactly how it's going to work or even if it's going to work, but I really hope it does because I wanted to get you guys involved. And I'm hoping if you guys like that enough, that can turn into a series. So go to the subreddit, upvote the stuff that you like, post whatever, and we'll see how that goes. Thank you guys for watching and not just this video, but all my videos. You guys give me so much kindness and support. It just means everything to me. I hope I can make you laugh and smile enough to repay you. I love you and I really hope you have a great day.